A Nashville man is fighting back after an Uber driver refused to provide him a ride to him and his service dog. And now that issue is headed to court. New at Ted, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon talked with him about an experience he says is more common than a lot of people realize. Emily? Well, that's right. He says laws allow his service dog to be with him at all times, and many drivers from ride-sharing companies may not be aware of that. So he hopes to bring attention to the issue so that others with disabilities will be treated fairly. Good boy. Hop James up. Bame's loyal companion, Shep, is always by his side. Hop up. That's a good boy. Legally blind since 2010, James relies on Shep as his guide. We're a good team and, and he helps me to, to navigate independently. After taking Shep to Barfield Animal Hospital in Murfreesboro, he requested an Uber ride home, but got a surprise when the driver arrived. And all of a sudden I hear someone yelling out of their vehicle and they said, you're going to have to call another taxi driver. And I said, uh, why, what's wrong? And she says, you're not getting that dog in my car. After the driver took off, James filed a complaint with Uber and an incident report with the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department. I was speechless uh, and then, and then you know, somewhat angry and frustrated. A spokesperson for Uber says driver partners are expected to accommodate riders with service animals and comply with all accessibility laws. Properly trained service animals will be easily guided into the back seat of the vehicle. James says many people simply aren't aware the American with Disabilities Act and Tennessee Code allow disabled individuals to be accompanied by service dogs. Shep is a tool that I, that I use to get around, and so you can't discriminate uh, against a person that uses a guide dog or service animal. He hopes by standing up for his rights, he will prevent others with disabilities from facing the same frustrations. I think, you know, awareness and uh, bringing things out to the forefront, you know, makes makes a big difference. The Uber driver could face a fine and possible jail time for violating the law. A hearing is scheduled tomorrow morning at 8 in Rutherford County. James says he is expecting a big crowd of disability advocates to be there to show their concerns. Carrie, back to you. Emily, thank you. I could